Okay folks, the Mars Science Laboratory is set to launch here on November 26th, and a lot of people say this is going to be the thing that draws the link between life and Mars. With us finding water just about everywhere else in the solar system, Mars for example, Enceladus, Europa, sure, why not Pluto? Might as well start looking for it on the sun. <laughs> We're only half kidding. The European Space Agency, actually out of their Australia location, actually received some telemetry from this doomed Phobos grunt. Now it was only six minutes of uh, transmission, they say they didn't get everything they need, uh, so we definitely need to watch the situation as it develops and comes back down to Earth. Most of you at this point know that the grand filament is gone, it popped off the sun uh, yesterday or the day before. And the second filament, which is very unstable, is in an Earth-facing position. Now over to the left of it, uh, solar active region uh, 13, 11356, excuse me, uh, is labeled Beta Gamma, and it has popped off some coronal mass ejections. One of them looks like it might clip the Earth. You can see right there. This is the uh, this is NASA's CME Evolution Animal Spiral, and you can see it does look like it's going to clip us there a bit. Coming over here to the NOAA CME Evolution Animal Spiral, and we can see that uh, we're expected to have an increase in the uh, plasma density right around the end of the 26th or the 27th, so let's keep an eye on our magnetosphere then. Uh, let's have a closer look at solar active region uh, 11356. Uh, now this is uh, labeled beta gamma, which means you can't really draw a line between uh, the black and the white over here, uh, which means it's slightly magnetically complex, but it's not overly magnetically complex, and so we can't really label this Zurich class F, and there's no delta spot, so uh, unless, of course, this region right here develops. Uh, that actually could develop into a delta spot right there with the black and white right in the middle. Um, but So it's probably not going to pop off an X flare unless that happens uh, and develops more. Over here to the left, we're actually really watching this one. Um, it looks to be somewhat magnetically complex, but they only have it labeled as an alpha spot, uh, which is pretty much the most benign classification we can have. So let's look for that to change in the coming days. Uh, over to the finance world, we have uh, so far not seen China too affected uh, by the United States and the European problems. Uh, but maybe we're starting to see that. Uh, news of the China manufacturing hitting a 32-month low since stocks uh, really plummeting yesterday. We have our fourth Arab leader forced from power now uh, to go along with Ber uh, Berlusconi out of Italy uh, and the Greek Prime Minister. When leaders fall, folks prepare for war. And we'll leave you with this, folks. This is a CBS uh, story, uh, CBS video. Uh, we'll give you the link. Uh, just a little fun thing to watch here on Thanksgiving. Uh, little guy coming out of the water for a meal. Apparently this isn't all that unique, but uh, it is to my eyes. Uh, be safe, everyone.